Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. I'm Damien Mary from Luxury Property Partners, and today I'm gonna to show you what two and a half million pound gets you in Chorleywood. There's a reason I've got this golf club. Welcome to High Ash Farm. So welcome to High Ash Farm. This house is absolutely impeccable, so the shoes are going off immediately. But the first thing you notice is this really grand and impressive hallway. This entrance hall is beautiful, and I love all the feature pieces of art around here. It's quite cold outside today, but I can really feel the underfloor heating. So I'll show you these two rooms in a second, but the first room I've got to take you to, in my opinion, is one of the best rooms in the house. Look at this. In my opinion, this is the epitome of open plan living. Huge island with a boiling water tap here, wine fridge, all the appliances here, a secret cabinet there, which I'll show you in a second. But there's so much space, lots of storage. And I don't know if you can quite see it yet, but this view, I am so excited to show you. But look how spacious this is. This is a modern home, it's a family home. And I think you've basically got the best of both worlds. It could be the perfect party house. You've got the Sonos speakers everywhere. You've got the lovely LED lighting. Karaoke setup here is incredible. So look at this huge sofa area. And I've got to point out this map here. I really like the features. Everybody knows I'm a Man United fan. So of course I've got to point out the red, but there's actually a screen that comes down here. So once you shut all of the bifold doors, close all of the blinds, this act as a movie room, so before I take you into the rest of the house, can you imagine on a day like today, opening up the bifold doors and look at that view. You must be able to see for 30, 40 miles on a clear day like today. Big entertainment terrace here, dining table for eight, sun loungers, lounging area. You've got a gym, a storage room, and that golf simulator, wait until you see that. But now I'm gonna show you that secret cabinet, which you've probably not seen anything like this in any kitchen. Check this out. So I have to point out as well, you've got all of the modern accessories. You've got air conditioning, underfloor heating, the boiling water tap here, so you can just make a coffee. But this, to the untrained eye, what a beautiful feel this has. Could just be another cabinet, but it's not. So you open this up, they slide back into each other, and you've got this door. Look at this. Your own temperature controlled pantry. So you've got all the food, everything else you need here, lots more storage, a good food preparation area, and an array of alcohol. If you fancy a sneaky little drink when the wife or the husband's not here, but it's all temperature controlled. So at Christmas time, they turn this into a refrigerator, which is really, really good. Really lovely idea. I've never seen that actually. So you can close the door, pull these doors out, and away you go. So I love the open planned aspect, but what I also like is the coziness. So if you wanted to shut it all up, you can close these doors. You've got a huge utility room with a drying room, washer, dryer, uh, the media rooms out there, the door to the garden as well. Beautiful downstairs washroom. And I love this office. So when the sun goes down and when the temperature gets a little bit cooler, you've got two reception rooms, one to my right, one here. So this is currently being used as the all important home office. It's one of the most searched things on all portals over the last couple of years since COVID. But this is a really, really spacious room. It could be a lounge, could be a playroom. Obviously having the desk here, seeing all the deliveries come throughout the day, it's a good spot for the office. And I absolutely love the detailing and the paneling throughout this house. And you can't avoid this artwork. Really, really nice. So now I'm gonna take you to the second lounge. And I've got to admit, walking through this hallway with the porcelainosa tiles, they are huge underfloor heating, feels amazing, and I really like the gray. So this lounge, admittedly, they don't use it. They spend all of their time, and why wouldn't they, in the open plan living room, kitchen and diner. But again, this is a really spacious room. You've got the feature fireplace, a good place for the kids. It could be a downstairs bedroom, I guess. You've got five upstairs, potentially one down here. But what a house, what a beautiful, beautiful house. And now I'm gonna take you upstairs. 
So there's a few more features that I do want to point out in this house. First, this table made from the wing of an aeroplane. Secondly, look at this, this copper pipe that leads to the gallery landing. And this door is absolutely huge. Look how wide this is. I love a chunky door and I know you like a door as well, Matt. So now let me take you upstairs and show you these five beautiful bedrooms. So what I love about this gallery landing is it's very, very spacious and none of the bedrooms are on top of each other. You've got one here, one here, one opposite me, the fourth one here and the fifth, the principal suite. So they're very much spread apart. And look at this for a custom chandelier beautiful centerpiece of this landing. I love the big beam above, but I've got to show you this principal suite and the views, again, I know I keep saying it, I don't want to bore you, but this view, world-class. I mean, imagine waking up every morning to your Juliet balcony and just enjoying the view. And it's so peaceful, really, really peaceful. Lots of storage again, and these mirrored closets. And I know from living with my wife and three daughters how important this next room is. So you've got a walk-in closet and that all-important beauty desk. It doesn't finish there. I'm gonna do the nice reveal on this ensuite. Check this one out. Huge freestanding bath. The shower you could fit, not that you'd want to, you could fit four adults in this thing. The shower head is huge. You've got these LEDs so you can change the colors. The Japanese toilet as well that activates electronically. I've never used one before. Um, but the double sinks here as well, but really, really exquisite. Again, these tiles, beautiful floor to ceiling tiles. Now I'm gonna show you the other four bedrooms. So we have bedroom two, lots of storage, big TV unit in the middle, another Juliet balcony with the bifold doors. And again, absolutely spoiled with that view. Now take you to bedroom number three. This being bedroom number three, I would actually say is probably the second largest. You've got your own balcony, so I can imagine a little table and chairs out there, coffee in the morning. Again, you know what I'm gonna point at. Big ensuite, and I love the black. Absolutely love the color of these floor to ceiling tiles. And look at this with the roller door. And I think the sun must be a bit of an action man, because I know he uses that as a chin up bar, but my question, how are you supposed to get up there? But yeah, air conditioning in here, very spacious. And I love how that breeze is coming through. Now I'll take you to bedroom number four and five. And to my right, we've got the family bathroom, floor to ceiling, porcelanosa tiles. Again, no expense spared in this dream, dream family home, actually. You've got the Lutron lighting. This bedroom I really love. Really thick, soft carpets, lots of storage, big TV on the wall there, lovely room. And then the final bedroom, bedroom number five. And being a Man United fan, there's gonna be a certain few things that I don't like in this room, but each to their own. So the Sun, Liverpool fan, but again, this is a great space. I know my daughters would love this space. I really like this room, actually. You've got the ensuite in here, views over the driveway. And what's important to point out, I can see it now, it's a private and gated driveway, electronic gates, cameras on the gates, cameras on the doors, and cameras at the back as well, but it's very private, very secluded. Now I've shown you the inside of the house, now I'm gonna show you the gardens, and my favorite room in any house, possibly to date. So clearly, this is an entertainer's home on the inside, but it definitely continues on the outside. The two lounges here, as I mentioned earlier, big, circular, eight-seater table, the Lazy Susan in the middle, another lounging area, the big umbrella that pulls out obviously on a sunny day like today, if you did want a bit of shade for the kids. You've got a storage room in here, but look how beautiful this is. Really, really immaculately kept gardens. It's probably about a third of an acre, I would say. And the interesting thing about this property, the current owner, owns the land this way. So for some people, this might be more than enough. A manageable garden, you've got the indoor buildings, the gym, everything else that you need. But if you did need a little bit of extra land, don't know if you can quite pick it up on the camera, but to the fence, to my left, 
and the line all the way across and back here is another half or just over half an acre. So you've either got the option of having about a third of an acre or if you wanted an entire acre, you can have it. I've got to mention though, it is green belt and it is a paddock. So you wouldn't be able to build on it. It would purely be for the dogs to run around. You could cut the grass, obviously keep it nice and trim like you see it now. But I've got to state that it is paddock only. But now let me take you to the gym. So if you didn't necessarily want the office inside the house, this could easily be converted into an outdoor office. It's all temperature controlled. You've got the unit above if you want heated or air conditioning. They've currently got it set up as a gym and just to my left, a steam room. You've got the big TV on the wall here. So if you're on the treadmill or the cross trainer or you're doing some weights and you wanna watch some TV, you can do that. And on a day like today, what I would probably do, as you've got the bifold doors, open it all up, let the breeze come in and enjoy your workout with these beautiful views. And I know in every property tour, I like to take you to the local golf course, which I definitely will do today. But as an avid golfer, who used to play off about four or five, more like nine or 10, imagine having this in your back garden. So I know if my wife was ever to kick me out the house and I lived here, exactly where I would be. And I cannot even begin to tell you what this would cost to create. You've got the padded walls to my left, padded walls to my right, up in the ceiling as well. And typically in a golf simulator, it'd be a screen and a net. Again, this is unbelievable. Huge screen here. And of course, you need your wine fridge, your beer fridge, lots of storage for food and snacks. This is a bit of a party room. You've got the air conditioning unit above as well, so it's all temperature controlled. If you're not a golfer, this could easily be a movie room, but I would definitely keep it as a golf simulator. Let's see how we get on. I've only got an iron and I'm wearing a jacket, no excuses. So let's see. I'll take it. So now you've seen the inside of the house and the outside of the house and these incredible gym and golf rooms and the gardens. Now I'm gonna take you to the local area. So typically on my property tours, I would take you to the local hotspots where you can walk, run, cycle. And the beautiful thing about this property, as I mentioned earlier, this plot here, as you can see, the property is in the background, could be yours, obviously by a separate negotiation if you did want some extra land. Or to my left, you have a public footpath. To my right, you have a public footpath. It's pretty uninterrupted, beautiful spot. You'll rarely see anybody, but look at this for a place to walk. Unbelievable. So after you've got in your practice at your very own golf simulator in your house, you are inundated with some of the best golf courses in the county, just 10 minutes from the property. We're here on the first tee at Sandy Lodge, and we've also got Moore Park, an exquisite golf club, lawn tennis courts, either of them fantastic golf courses, and you'll definitely be able to use what you learned in the simulator on a place like this. So it's very important for me in all of my property tours to take you to the local pubs and restaurant and the stag, great food, good drinks and live music is just a two minute drive or a six or seven minute stagger from the front door of the property. So before I head back into the golf simulator to enjoy that amazing room, I just wanna thank you for joining me today on the tour of this incredible home, High Ash Farm. If you'd like your own exclusive tour or any further information, or just to come and have a walk and enjoy these incredible views, please contact me on the details that follow.